Guys, the day after Yom Kippur, our 11th day of Temple 420, actually day 10, but it's still day 11 of the new year. I fasted, didn't have a bite to eat or anything to drink for 24 hours. It was not hard physically at all, but mentally it was a challenge. I kept wanting to reach for some food or some water as a comfort, to comfort me for some reason. I really didn't need it. I kept forgetting that I was fasting and I'd get to the fridge and I'd open it up and I'm like, oh, I'm fasting until sundown. And once I made it 12 hours, I was like, oh, I'm halfway there. And then I did have a little bit of hunger, like seven hours to go. And I was like, well, I've gone this far, I can make it. I knew I wasn't gonna die and then when it ended I was pretty hungry and I was very happy to eat and break the fast I really was thankful for every bite I put in my body I was thankful for the water said thanks to the water and thanks for the carrots and the cheese and the hummus and the crackers and it was a delightful way to end the fast and all of a sudden I felt this strange like aggressiveness coming over me a little more focus confidence and power like I have this energy that oh I accomplished something and I kind of felt like I made a mental commitment and I kept it to myself and now I feel like I can accomplish other things this year is hopefully going to be a good year. I'm going to take it easy today. Mario and I have to catch up on some editing. We have a lot of writing to do tomorrow, but I want to thank everyone for supporting Temple 420. It really is, has been a passion of mine for so many years. The Bible, studying the Bible, sharing my faith with people, sharing Bible stories with people. It's not easy being a good person. It's easier when you have the example of Yeshua who spent his life and sacrificed his life and that's really what the fast was yesterday you make a small sacrifice of your time and a commitment and that's what we're doing with this ministry that's what yeshua did with his whole life um especially his ministry that he had at the end that he was cut off from when the romans murdered him they're all doctors and lawyers and movie stars and tv actors and i'm a pot activist and teaching the bible um not well respected things in hollywood and so you know, I'm glad that I could get on a TV show and that I've written a book now because people, you know, care more about you being on a TV show and writing a book than they do about you teaching the Bible and being an activist for the tree of life, you know, that you're driven and put your life towards um, bringing this plant to people because you know it provides so many natural resources. Appreciate you guys being here. God bless. Did you know Jesus? Did you know Jesus? Did you know Jesus?